successful probably means generate more money. This is, a, first of all, you have to understand that this is an economic planet. There isn't really anything that you want that won't go better if you have more money. And that is my primary operating basis. It always has been and always will be. Have you ever wondered why, where these stats, like President Trump just recently was taking credit for 2 million jobs created? The government didn't create those jobs. He didn't create those jobs. The government of any country has never created the job. The only person who's capable of creating a job is you. How do I do that? If you think of yourself as a wage earner who works for someone else, let's take, for example, you just got uh, an $1,800 a year raise with, from the change in the, uh, on the tax plan. Create a job with it. Create two jobs with it. One job, take that money and dedicate it to services. Hire someone to do some of the things that you don't want to do, whether that's take out the trash, do your laundry, sweep your floors. Those are jobs. Those are vital to this community, and those are vital to the people that operate at that level. So support them. Because if you have somebody doing your laundry, okay, you have that time back. And if, if you're a, an expert, let's say, glass maker, and you get an extra hour a day, you can make more glass. Or you get an hour a day and you can do some form of training like you can on the Cardone University. It's, it's an extremely valuable lesson. I, had this, I made this statement to my dad when I was about six years old. I said, you know, any job worth doing is worth hiring done. So I've always operated that way. Sometimes it's worked out well for me and sometimes it made me lazy. So, but I'm telling you right now, if you want to help grow an economy, any economy that you exist in, Hire people to do the things that you don't want to do. If it's the only way you're going to expand your business. If you're a solopreneur, you need to write up all of the tasks that you do that you can reduce to a simple written procedure. The minute you've done that, you can take your part, that part of your hat and pass it to someone else. Now you don't have to do it anymore. They have to do it if you follow up on them and, and apply proper quality control steps. But you can help an economy, even you, who only made $36,312.18 last year. Do your part. Do your part. Hire other people. Anytime you get any extra income like that in the small amounts that the government are ever going to give you, do something to help the economy and help you as an individual expand whatever your income flows are. Tip number one, this is Tom Alston. And I'll talk to you about it anytime. You can have my number, 916-691-9192 extension 108. I'd love to talk to you about it. Thanks.